We've reached the end of Sakura Sunrise 3. So let's celebrate the champions of each weight class and present them with their trophies. Starting off with the Ant Weight Champion. <laughs> While it didn't take chunks out of its opponents, Chunk still won the ant weights rather comfortably, winning a three-way decision against the Legion Eric, Ant Weight Ram and Free Little Birdie to progress straight to the quarterfinals, where Backhand was unable to self-right, follow that up with a decision over Resist and to set up a 1v1 meeting with generic Ant Weight Ram in the final, a back and forth. Chunk gets the decision again to become the first ever Sakura Sunrise Ant Weight Champion. And now we take a look at the Lightweight Champion. <laughs> Deep Weapon Tech came along with a huge fucking Vlad Spear, exposing a hole in the build rules in its rumble, surprisingly KOing one before winning a decision against E, following that up with a quarter final KO of Pushpan, and then doing severe damage to Knuckle Sandwich in the semi-finals to claim a decision to move on to the final, where it fought the Sakura Sunrise 1 champion Upa, where it won by KO. Next up, we have the super heavyweight champion. Genki. Here we have Jeremy Clarkson himself returning to the robot combat scene after 27 years. Phaser Comply was left in Hammer Purgatory in the Rumble, as Secret Dawn would then go on to dominate much of the fight before losing all its wheels quickly. Jeremy would then go straight into the quarterfinals, scoring a KO against Necron Overlord before grinding out a decision over 21st century schizoid bot to fight Icewolf in the final. The only returning super heavyweight from Sakura Sunrise 1 was no match for Jeremy who left it a smoking broken mess on the drums to win the weight class. Now that's our side weight classes out of the way, let's get on to the main weight classes. First up, the middleweights. Lovely. Bullet was drawn into a group with a quarterfinal rematch from Sakura Sunrise 2 and it absolutely dominated 4th seed Polygon and up to this point rather consistent Rapier to win the group. Advancing to the bracket, it sent Metallicus out of the arena for back-to-back -back wins over the last two remaining seeds, Sliven and Mean Red to book a place in the final where it fought Little Spark. A back and forth fight, but Little Spark wasn't able to retain its wheels and Bullet made it back-to-back -back midweight titles for Rose. Now let's get on to the Cruiserweight Champion. In its group, wrong note, well um, never mind the less said about its group stage performance the better. But it really came alive in the bracket with KOs of Bookshot, Rainbow Ranger, Shinsu Hoshinka and Tagger in a row to reach the final where its opponent was Pinwheel. It only took one wheel coming off of Pinwheel and a tooth to leave it spinning out of control in circles. Wrong note, cleverly deciding to leave it, let it show a lack of controlled movement for 30 seconds to claim the cruiserweight crown. Now let's get on to the heavyweight champion. This is a real underdog story here. Rosethorn got drawn into one of the tougher groups of the heavyweight division against Blue Phoenix and Min Max, but won the group comfortably with an Uta and a KO. Moving into the bracket, it first for the 8th seed Uranium. And despite getting de-weaponed, it took off a triple length beta of Uranium, which ultimately resulted in its spike balling 
and being counted out. Next up was SDB and a surprise win saw Rose Thorn score the KO and it did the same again. Less surprisingly so this time in the quarterfinals against Gao Shu and Sour No was, wasn't able to avoid the same fate. Lef this left Rose Thorn in the final against Zmilan who upon losing a tooth ended up to go on and lose the fight making Rose Thorn the champ. So Sacro Sunrise 3 is over. Thank you to everyone who entered regardless of how, of how few or how many robots you entered. You contributed to me being able to complete this tournament which I'm proud of. 156 robots across 6 weight classes and 23 episodes. Big step up in the editing to this time. A lot more effort has been put into this one. I'll see you whenever my next video is.